Hello and welcome to my YouTube video. This is a video on how to pick up stitches from the underarm and avoid the holes in the corners where the arm connects to the underarm in a sweater or cardigan. This is a cute little top knit by a friend of mine and she's loaned it to me for this demonstration. I'll post a link to the Ravelry pattern in the description. So initially these stitches were on waist yarn and now I've put them on a needle and I'm using magic loop but you can use uh, two circulars, double pointed needles, whatever you want to use. It, the results will be the same. So the areas of concern in this type of a project are where the underarm connects to the knitting up here. This has been separated while the rest of the garment's been knit and you end up with some stretched out stitches. You can see them, let me get a pointer, here, this bar here is, is stretched out, and here, which that's the same yarn, can you see that? And this, so this area tends to create holes when you bring these pieces together, because there's a lot of stress on the corner there. Same over here. You have this yarn here, and this yarn here. Now they're not connected because they went over and came back but they're close enough and this is where the hole is going to occur. So I'm going to show you a method of how to avoid the hole. I'm going to start with um, this needle. I've pulled some cable out here. Let's shrink it down. So I'm using this, the needle that's to the right and I'm going to start picking up stitches along here. So I've got my yarn the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to pick this loop up and put it on this needle. And then I'm going to pick this loop up and put it on the needle too. I'm not knitting into them yet, but I will on the next round. Then I'm going to start with my working yarn and I'm going to pick up one stitch in each column as they come up. Let me use my pointer again. So let's identify these. Here's a column that's coming up. You can see the V's. You're going to pick up under these, under these two. Here's the next column. You're going to pick up under these two. Can you see there's two bars there? Not under one. If you pick up under one, it'll make a big hole. You're going to pick up here, and you're going to pick up here. So three stitches were cast on. This was knitted uh, from the top down. But when you go turn three stitches upside down, you'll see four columns of V's going in the opposite direction. And that's where we're going to pick up our stitches. Starting with this working yarn, we'll leave a tail. And we're going to go under these two. See the two? And pick up a stitch. Now, this was a backward loop cast on, and we don't want this little bar showing on the front of our work and it likely will. So what, what I do is I come under that with my needle, pick up the stitch from the back, and pull it really tight, and it pushes that little bar to the back side so you hopefully won't see it on the front of the work. Same here. I'm going to see the bar. I'm going below it with my needle, picking up very firmly, pushes the bar to the back. Now it may pop to the front, but we can push it back later on. And that's two. Here's the next bar, three, and there's going to be one more. Did we miss one? No, we picked up four. There we go. So there's our four stitches. Now we come over to this side, and we've got those two loops on this side also, right? So we're going to pick those up as well. I'm just going to put this one on my needle. And this. So my last stitch is this stitch right here, and I put this bar, I pulled that bar up and put it on here. Now I'm going to pull this needle loop through. Now we're going to pick up the second bar on that section and put it on this needle. And then we're going to reverse the stitch mount. We're going to put it on with a reverse stitch mount and we're going to knit it together with this stitch here. And what that does, when we knit it together, in fact, I'll just knit it by, my, by itself so you can see what's happening, 
is it's going to twist it at the base. Do you see how it twists it? It pulls it up and twists it. But we want to hide it. We don't want to create an extra stitch. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a knit two together with that bar and the next stitch on the needle. And it's tight, but we want it to be tight. In fact, I'm going to loosen it up a little bit so I can get my needle in there. And knit it together tightly. And pull it up tight. I got a little bit of a caught the strand. There we go. Then I'm going to knit around. Now that will close half the hole on that side when we get to the first part that we picked up, it'll close the other half. We're going to knit all the way around. This is just an amazing thing to do and very simple. I have tried so many different ways to close those holes and they happen whether you're working a top down or bottom up. Anytime you're connecting the underarm to the sleeve you tend to get these holes and this corrects it. So now we're pulling the other half of the needle up into action and we've got all these cast on stitches down here. So we're going to knit up to that point The color of this yarn is just gorgeous. Almost there. I can feel them coming up. Okay, here's the first bar that we picked up right here, and here's the second one. Here's the tail. These are the four cast-on stitches and the half of the bar from the other side. So these are our two bars. So we're coming up on them. The first one, which is right here, we're going to work as an SSK but we're just slipping the first one, so like an SK. Slip and then knit two together like an SSK and that twists that stitch also and pulls it underneath and then these two we're going to work as a knit two together. We have to reverse this stitch mount so that we twist the bottom stitch. This is when you do want to have a twisted stitch. Knit that, knit across two, three, and with this one we're going to work the SSK. We're just slipping the first one. The second one is the bar and work an SSK. Pull our magic loop through. Let's pull that tail tight. Now you can see how nicely it pulls that hole together. Do you see that? Let's knit one full round real quickly and then we'll look at our, our final results here. This one's also pulled together, but we can't see it yet because we haven't knit across it. So we're going to do that now. Just take a minute. If you like my videos, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, all of my videos are educational. I have a Facebook group. It's called Knitting with Suzanne Bryan and a Ravelry group called Knitting with Suzanne Bryan. I do educational knit-alongs. It's fun. I am a master hand knitter and I would love it if you would share my videos or if you have comments. I love to hear from my viewers. If, you, if this helps you, tell me that it helps you. I love the feedback. Pull that loop through, turn our work a little bit. And as I said, you can do this uh, DPNs, 
two mag two uh, circulars or magic loop. It doesn't matter. It's that little trick of picking up those elongated bars and then concealing them immediately. That's what closes the holes. And we're not adding any stitches. Almost there. That's the underarm right here. The four stitches we cast on. Now let's take a look. Let's look at the underarm. This is our tail here that's stretched out. We're going to pull that up. Okay, here's one side right here. No hole. This is where, let me find my pointer again. This is where one stitch is pulled up and twisted. The bar is pulled up and twisted underneath, and here's the other one. So as you knit, it'll look like that. It doesn't, it's not distorted, not twisted. This is the other side. It'll pull up really nice too. Same thing. So here's one bar pulled up right here. And here's the other one over here, right here underneath this stitch. So this will come together as you continue working. There you go. Happy knitting!